Let's take a look at this. This is an application where Shaper 3D and also DXF can become very helpful for people in the architecture interior design industry. The great thing about an iPad in general is you have a very good battery time, unlike a laptop. And the iPad is also very light, so you could easily be inside the space, digitize it, and model right at the site. Because nothing is more annoying when you take measurements and you go to your studio, you start building, and then something doesn't uh, work out. So with my uh, structured light scanner, I'll indication just in a second, as you can see, I did on the right side a scan of my space and then also plugged in some dimensions. In the background, you can see the blueprint actually from the property and we I pulled the permit and yeah, no, sorry not the permit I, I got this actually from the city hall and as you can see first it's low resolution there's also some distortion in it so this is maybe okay to read but it's not really usable to create a new architectural model from it for those who um, I'm just curious about the 3D part. If you go to the App Store and look at Canvas, there's actually, it's an app. Let me just zoom in, in there. So here we can just move around. That is the interior space. And we also can add some measurements. So for example, from there to there, there it measures it. It's not super precise. You can see um, 6 feet 4.6 inches, 6 feet 4.36 inches. But in architecture, we can work with a tolerance of a quarter of an inch when we do these measurements. And this uh, computer model, then I export it as OBJ and then STL and import it into Shaper. And that is actually what you see here on the side there. And also this model is a little bit wonky. You can see there are some distortions to it. I did the scan really fast, which can add a little bit to these problems. But the main idea was to do some measurements and then create a new custom cabinet system. So let me show you how I did that. And there we are. I will turn off all these parts that are currently a little bit confusing. And there the scan is gone. And I put in a very basic countertop. So this is a 3D model AutoCAD. Um, when you work in interior design or industrial design is two-dimensional. So how do I from this now create two-dimensional drawings? So what I mean with this is what I would like to have later are these things. So a side view, a front elevation view, a floor plan, and I will show you in a moment how I created all of these individual drawings. But before I continue, there's something I would like to show, which makes this actually very useful. We can also export all the sketches we have inside the scene as, here's the killer, DXF or DWG, save each sketch plane as a separate file. So the floor plan and the two elevation views would be uh, saved as individual images, which then I could load into AutoCAD and then rearrange. So even while they're here existing in 3D space, later I can transfer them into any two-dimensional programs in 2D space. The process how to create these views is actually pretty simple. So I will uh, take this one out. So this is gone. We have the floor plan, 
we have an elevation view here. This elevation view I actually used to also model a basic representation for the cabinet tree and I used the scan as a layout. Now I would like to create the other elevation view, the one which I just removed. This line and this line, these two lines, as you can see, they meet right at the same corner there. So this is actually very good. Now when we go to add and construction plane and then through edge at an angle, select this line. So minus 90, very good. Then with the pencil, I can select that construction plane with the finger double tap and I jumped right to it. So on this construction plane, there currently is no sketch at all. And I would like to transfer this edge and this interior line onto this construction plane. That, for example, we can do with tools and project and select this line and this line. Next, then I select the construction plane, press done. And when I turn these two off, and there you see, now I have these two lines, very good. Because this is actually a square, I can lock these two lines so they don't move. And then I put in the missing two lines for the ceiling and the other uh, back wall. This line, I will say be horizontal and a vertical. There you see how this lines up. And now I would like to transfer my countertop and everything onto it. So the, the project tool I will use in this case too. I will actually zoom to here because it's easier to select the individual parts. Go to tools, project. I can select this edge, this and this. Then I will select this face. This actually selects all four edges. I will select this, this edge. This up here I don't need because I have this one up there. So I try only to select edges I really need inside my drawing. There, very good. That's all. Next, select the plane, click done. Let's turn all this off. And there we are, see? Super easy. And that is how I created all the individual files for this. And then when we go to uh, DXF and just say save each separately. Very good. Hidden sketches, no, we don't want. Actually also don't have any other hidden sketches. Share, I could save this now or leave, we can just bring it over to Gnarkant and bathroom floor. There we are, you see? And it even brings the, the dimensions with, so this is pretty fantastic.